Welcome to Season 2 Spark Edition of Investment Insider brought to you by Invest Langor. My name is Cynthia Ng, your host for this series. In this Spark Edition, we are taking a closer look at Arlo Technology, a company that is stepping up to be one of the key players in rolling out high-speed broadband in Malaysia. Alo Technology is a wholly owned subsidiary of Tenaga National. And I would now like to welcome Rodzi Ahmad, CEO of Alo. Hello, Rodzi. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to the show. Can you start with giving us an insight into the relationship between Alo and Tenaga National and how Alo leverages on Tenaga's existing infrastructure to bring high speed internet access to Malaysians? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, uh, Alo Technology is a subsidiary of Tenaga National Burhad. Uh, Tenaga National Burhad is a utility company that has more than 18,000 fiber infrastructure connecting urban, suburban, and rural areas. So, uh, Alo is leveraging on these infrastructures and we can expand our fiber footprint faster in a more cost effective way. This means uh, we can bring high-speed broadband into underserved areas that can, that can help the people who has not enjoyed the services. So, and, and, and moreover, we are operating on open access model, which means we allow other operators, other service providers that can connect our network and serve the customers. So if you are on our network, you can have a choice of your operators to serve you, uh, which is the retail service providers. So having an open network, Rodzi, if I understand correctly, will help increase network capacity more seamlessly. I am intrigued by Alo's carrier network, which facilitates cross-border connectivity. Can you talk to us about that platform and how it benefits end users? Through our Alo carrier network, we can connect them, uh, whether they are in urban or suburban areas, and they can enjoy our 99.99% uptime with a capacity of up to 25 uh, terabit per second, which is very huge. This network interconnects Malaysia to Thailand and Singapore. So companies uh, who, who invest in the country, uh, who invest in Selangor particularly, uh, both local and foreign can, can be connected to our network and can store their data at a proper data centers because we, we interconnect to data centers as well. And, and with that, they don't have to build their own data centers. So I think that basically the, the, the role of carrier network is to interconnect uh, facilities, data centers to customers, industries. Rodzi, if you can also elaborate further, how will the capabilities of this network help elevate Alo as an operator to be a key player in cross-border connectivity? Sure, as, as I think everyone knows, uh, most telcos internationally are uh, I wanted to connect uh, regionally from Singapore to, to Malaysia and to Thailand. Uh, with our uh, carrier network, with our SNS just now, we want to be the main connectivity for domestic and international players with wider coverage areas nationwide. Our strategic position and locations uh, have been present in major data centers and then bring us to link this connectivity to our customers. So wherever you are within our network, you can link to Thailand, you can link to Singapore, you can link to our data centers in, in our own uh, countries. Using our latest technology, our high capacity uh, services, this network has been actually utilized by reputable customers in the market. So it has been live, it has been connected in, in productive uh, way, uh, connecting Singapore, KL, as well as Thailand. Thank you for that explanation, Rodzi. We have seen more companies coming into this space to be a connectivity partner in providing high-speed internet services. Now, how is Alo different and what is your unique selling proposition? Obviously, um, we, we have the advantage of leveraging on our parents' company just now, Naga National, our, which makes our deployment is faster, which makes uh, our reachability, reachability to underserved areas are more cost effective compared to conventional methods. Uh, this set a lot of parts because we encourage healthy competition among retail service providers with our open 
access network as I mentioned just now, which give the end user to choose the service project that they wanted for their uh, for their business or, or homes. Our posi- positioning in the market is as a preferred connectivity partner, where we have uh, various connectivity offerings to mobile operators, carriers network, retail service providers, developers, as well as uh, industries. Thank you for giving us that insight, Rodzi. Coming up, let's talk about capturing the rising demand for high-speed broadband. But first, we will go for a quick break. Do stay tuned, we will be back shortly. Because Selangor has proven in attracting highest investment in the country for three years running, not only the value of the investments are the highest, but they are also high-impact investment projects. This result is a true testament of the trust that investors are saying about Selangor. Welcome back to Investment Insider with me, Cynthia Ng. Joining me now is Rodzi Ahmad, Chief Executive Officer of Alo Technology, an internet service provider based in Cyberjaya. Rodzi, if there is one upside arising from the pandemic, is digitalization. Businesses are adopting digitalization at a pace never seen before. Now, how is Alo capturing the growth and increasing demand for broadband? Uh, internet facilities has become increasingly important now, especially as we are facing the pandemic. You are right, uh, this has forced us to adapt to digital, digitalizations as many services and even education is being carried out virtually. So we know that the demand for broadband is there, but yet the challenge is there are so many areas that has, yet been, has not yet been favorized. So our challenge is we want to provide, we want to continue to provide our services to connect more underserved areas, even during 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 this pandemic, and for the retail service providers to promote their services and to be and to promote their services to the subscribers. Rodzi, I'd like to take up on your point about connecting underserved areas. How will you do so with Alo's network and ecosystem with existing retail service providers? Well, um, retail service providers don't actually build a fiber network all the time. So our main focus is to fiberize these areas, particularly the underserved areas that have yet to have high-speed broadband. So that will be the complementing area for the retail service providers. They just ride on our network and connect to those areas and customers. Through our open access network again, these service providers can offer whatever packages they want. Maybe uh, starting from 30 megab- megabit per second or probably up to 100 meg or even 1 gigabit per second so that they can offer the good price to the customers. Some underserved areas may not have the luxury to go for 100, 100 megabit per second. So the 30 meg- megabit per second may be good enough for them. Uh, so by, by, by having these retail service providers of their choice, they can, they can have these options for them to choose from. So, offering flexibility to retail service providers. Rosie, can you also talk to us about Jandela, the government's initiative to provide high-speed broadband to every corner of Malaysia? Now, because Alo, as I understand, plays a key role in bridging the digital gap in Selangor. Can you please explain that further? Yep. Uh, Selangor is a very uh, highly populated area. So, it's spread uh, cities, uh, suburbs, and, and as, as well as rural areas. So what we're doing is uh, we are closing the digital gap and also to connect to telco towers for higher capacity or higher quality of uh, connectivity services. Apart from that, uh, the business and residents and residents in Slano also embrace connectivity and, and are const- constantly looking for the right connectivity to accommodate their requirements. That's where our role to support the gender. That's where we want to be to connect and, and get the people to be connected to the services, to the program. That sounds like a wonderful initiative, Rosie. Connectivity is essential to doing business. High-speed broadband is no longer a luxury but necessity. So talk to us about Alo's relationship with Selangor in supporting the growth of businesses here. 
Yeah, in this new era, definitely uh, when invest Lamo, uh, get investors to come to Lamo, I think they cannot run from creativity. Uh, you know, we, you need power, you need creativity, you need you need high speed internet, definitely. So, uh, Alo uh, hopefully uh, can support uh, invest Lamo, and both parties could leverage each other with good packages of connectivity. Uh, as part of the business requirement requirement by the investors. And don't forget, uh, Alo being a subsidiary of Tanaka National, maybe we can synergize uh, how electricity and connectivity can come together for Invest Lama Initiative. So you can have two package, you can have two uh, solutions to your investors at some time. Absolutely. And I suppose ultimately what is most important for investors is the ease of doing business and that includes good connectivity. Now finally, Rodzi, what exciting developments can we look forward to from Alo Technology? Well, we look forward to support more uh, con connectivity to any investors, uh, providing a uh, choice for investors that want to support their initiative. What I mean is uh, some companies may want to interconnect uh, within the, the, the within Malaysia. Some investors may want to connect to Singapore, to Thailand, or even to their own uh, countries in Europe. While having other interconnects to international um, telcos, they can then choose their own, their own uh, preferred uh, providers. In line with our aim to be the preferred connectivity services, we look forward to being uh, the most connected network through competitive pricing, supporting technological advancement, and providing extensive uh, connectivity solutions to these companies. Going forward, one of the key priorities to allow will be to build more fiber to support national aspirations, to close the gaps, and to connect nationwide. Thank you, Rodzi, for being with us. We look forward to more great developments from Alo Technology. You have been watching Investment Insider with me, Cynthia Ng. We will see you again in the next episode. Slango is the most attractive investment destination. Find out how we can assist you at www.investslango.my. Join us again in the next episode.